Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome back to part two of the homemade mini battle bot. So quite a few things have changed since the first video, one of which is the actual the front angle. The robot used to be a lot more square in the front, and I've put some angling there, and that's so if you flip it up over on the side, it can flip right to its top and then uh, flip itself back over. Another thing I changed is actually this servo. Right now it's just taped in, but uh, I used to only go 90 degrees and I put in some resistors inside the servo. So now I have about 180 degrees of movement, which helps a lot with flipping your opponent and also flipping yourself back over. And then lastly, I made it red, which is pretty awesome. Isn't that awesome? Oh, it is awesome? Oh, thank you, I thought so too. And two other things that are different that I forgot to mention earlier is the tires. I have much thicker tires, so we have a lot better traction. They're still Lego tires, though, so that's kind of cool. So those will hopefully give me a lot more uh, traction and help uh, with my torque. And then the other thing I'm using different is instead of using my uh, flat AAA holder, I actually went out and bought a pyramid-style AAA holder. So it fits in there a lot tighter and a lot more neatly, and it's easier to pack everything in there. If you look in here, it's quite a mess in here, but it does all fit in there and it's nice and snug. So I'm actually quite happy with how this has uh, turned out. So I'm running this whole thing off of an RC Planes transmitter. It is a Spectrum DXE. I just picked it up the other day and so far I'm liking it quite a lot. Uh, it's six channel, so I've given each drive wheel its own channel. So this is forward and back for one wheel and forward and back for the other wheel. So if you want the whole robot to go forward, you'll simply angle this little knob here to the top right. I'm sorry, bottom left. It goes forward, top right, backwards. Top left spins in a circle. Bottom right spins in a circle the other way. And then this one is for the flipper. So I like this setup a lot because then you can drive with one thumb and you can use your weapon with the other thumb. I think it's quite a nice little setup. And of course if you want to turn you just go from your angle to one of the sides like this and it turns it. And now we'll do the flipper test. This is actually the first flipper test I've ever done with this servo, so we'll see what happens. Here's some electrical tape. Here we have a little RC car. Random RC car part. And lastly, Batman. I just want to take a moment to say that uh, it flipped Batman, and Batman has a pretty low center of gravity, and he's been one of the best fighters in the world. So if it can flip him, we're in pretty good shape. Let's see if it can flip itself over. Just go ahead and flip this over. Look at that, wonderful. Just tip it over on the side. Wonderful, even better. And there you go, my finished homemade battle bot. Well, thank you so much for you guys watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And Lord willing, I will see you next week. Thank you for watching, and please feel free to subscribe.